Um, afternoon, everyone. Um, uh, just wanted to uh, give you a brief overview of the outline for this HSF. Uh, Kirby gave a, um, an overview of the company. From an HSF perspective, um, what we wanted to do was we wanted to attack this uh, presentation from three angles. One is the, for the functional perspective, uh, product perspective, and the technology perspective. And the reason we did that is because it's, it's HSF is a widely misunderstood product, and we wanted to spend you know our time and resources into uh, making sure that you know we can help you understand this better from any angle. So um, it helps if you're completely functional focused. We'll help you understand it. If you're completely technology focused, we'll help you understand that as well. So um, um, this is the way we structured our presentation. Um, before we get into the functional perspective, just a prelude into HSF. Um, I always like uh, starting with a little bit of humor. Uh, here's a quote from Wall Street Journal on financial statements, right? I mean, and it's kind of clear what uh, uh, Wall Street thinks about uh, financial statements. And um, just, just something to kick us off and an icebreaker. Um, I wanted to take time to explain the title. Uh, so um, I have a little bit of interest in the medical industry, so I borrowed the statement from the medical side of things. A pulse oximeter is basically just a medical device that monitors a patient's oxygen blood level and just lets you beep to uh, if it's below certain level. Um, uh, borrowing the same um, definition, uh, we wanted to basically show how basically HSF can act as your financial health oximeter. Um, and it will alert your team if you know liquidity falls below a certain level, uh, if you're gonna if you're about to violate a debt covenant, uh, and or you know, if there is gonna be uh, an increase in your you know rated average cost of capital or your cost of debt, and then that in turn will make a previously attractive valuations uh, not attractive anymore. So these are the kinds of alerts you can get with that. So I had a definition of courage I wanted to bring to this presentation. You probably understand a little later how this way. But, you know, from the definition of courage and why it matters to HSF or a product like HSF is, you know, just from dictionary, reference.com, uh, this says, you know, it's the quality of mind or spirit that enables a person to face difficulty, danger. From my perspective, it's basically being prepared to handle the worst and being prepared to handle it if it actually does happen, right? That's my perspective. Um, why it matters to a presentation like the features that we're doing, uh, it's, it's a lot about risk, right? In a global world, you know, with macroeconomic risk, microeconomic risk, how do we how do we even handle risk, right? And how and, and are we prepared to handle that? And especially in the world of finance, where um, we have of capital, capital adequacy, which is liquidity problems, um, you know, the shock ratio is used, which is the risk reward ratio is used to gauge risk. So basically, you know, to know all these things, you need to have a little bit of touch, right? So, for example, if the 2008 mortgage crisis that happened, the subprime mortgage crisis, how many, how many people had the courage to speak this ahead of time, right? Some of them did, some of them didn't, some of them did not. But um, even among those who basically did not have the courage, right, how many of the tools and technology at their, at their disposal to uh, prepare, you know, uh, for such even so, um, in the world. Um, so, how does basically HSF fit into the EPM product suite? This is also the representation of the product suite that they have, and where they, among the four buckets suites that you have, you have just the strategic management, the flow profitability, the financial flows, and planning and forecasting. HSF fits into uh, one of the boxes here, and I will explain you know more, and you'll get a better understanding of how it fits into the overall. A product suite and how it can be useful for you in these slides that come up. Um, I just wanted to start with uh, something like this, basically saying, so in FSA, on the FSA side of things, most organizations, when they start, they basically implement, say, FSA planning, which is on the left side of your presentation. Um, and then what do they try to do? They basically start out with saying, okay, let me get some income statement. Um, uh, let me get, say, some of the uh, income statement as in the revenue and the expense um, needs done, uh, then uh, move forward to say the balance sheet, um, and then once the balance sheet is done, they have the actual. So, in the world of S phase, you know they start with basically reviewing your actual data. Uh, the next step they do is they basically go into the budget, and they start using S phase for you know, your budgeting and planning, 
and then they can get to the point about where we can analyze and uh, report uh, comparing budgets with actuals with the help of SPS. 